Hello. What is that? Um, I'll be showing a video about Point War this time. Uh, cause about like maybe five minutes ago, I just hit Point War 16 for the first time. Finally, <laughs> but they're so long. Uh, it was a grind and a half, I'll tell you that. So I kind of want to share um, what I used, what I think are good teams, and if you need help with getting a higher point war rank, then hopefully this video can help you out. So yeah, um, I guess I'll just show you like my records first. So my defense record is <laughs> is so bad, as you can see here. Um, they're pretty much all losses. Yeah, they're literally all losses because my team isn't actually that good on defense. Uh, even in general, it's not really that good. But um, just being able to bring certain counter picks here and there for certain team comps really, really helps. So these are my challenge records that I have done. Um, it's like a few losses here and there. But for the most part, it's kind of consistent, I want to say. So, yeah, I'll show you the team that I'm using for, for Point War. We'll just click on someone random, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to actually fight them, but this is the team that I'm using. Ollie, Biondina, Clara, Dahlia, and Lily. And why this team? Um, is for specifically to beat defensive teams because there's three team comps that pretty much make up the entire point war meta um two of them are more common than the other one but uh so i guess there's like two main teams and then there's like a third like maybe not so common but still just as good as the other two and those two teams are the the tank team which is like this team for example, this is a tank team. And then the second team, which is a speed cleave team, um, which is maybe uh, something like this. This would be a speed cleave team. And then the third type of team is actually a control team, which I haven't, I haven't really seen too much, but then they definitely exist. And they're also very, very strong. So, I kind of want to go over uh, what's probably the best team to make based on your own units. So I actually have a spreadsheet here that I am going to show in just a second. Um, but I'll finish talking about my team here first. Uh, so this team is pretty much just to counter defensive teams. This team, my since my speed isn't actually that high, I'll just show it. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but whatever, I don't really care. So my Dahlia has 178 speed, which is like, for the for, for most people, that's like, oh my god, that's so freaking fast. But like, um, in higher tiers of point war, that's actually pretty slow. Uh, most people, if they're running speed cleave teams, they usually have around like maybe almost 200, maybe even more speed. Uh, 200 when I mean like the the green number plus 200. Mine's only plus 176, so it's pretty pretty much impossible for me to win against speed cleave teams and speed control teams as well. Um, and so the only team I can really win against are these defensive uh, type teams. That, like this team for example is going to outspeed me, I guarantee, even though they're <laughs> three tiers un underneath me. Just because my focus isn't really on speed but DPS. Um, so yeah. Uh, so these teams are like, this is probably the most common team you'll see, at least when you get to higher tiers of point war. I guess maybe starting from like point or 13-ish, 14-ish, then you really just start to see only teams with these same five units. Maybe like, uh, a unit will be swapped out here and there, but generally the team count remains the same. Like you can see these three people, they pretty much all have tank teams. <laughs> They're just different variations of it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess I can show the show the spreadsheet now that I want to talk about. Um, so this is sort of like a guide on how to 
I guess, uh, help you find your best team that you want to use um, for point war. And obviously, it's dependent on playstyle as well. Like, what's what's your preferred playstyle on how you want to play the game? But for the most part, um, you want to stick to these three teams if you want to get far. And let me show this. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So these three teams that you see on screen now. Uh, well, this is the first team. This is one of the teams. So I made like a little chart here. Um, called the tank the tank team chart i guess you can call it uh as you can see here there is a lead there is a dps a support and a control section so um this is pretty much just designed to help you craft a specific tank team that you want so for example if you have like let's say you have ollie gabrielle um ahmed and a Thor and I don't know a a Nicole for example and then you're like oh hmm I also realize I or like later down the road you pull like a like a hide or something then you can like sort of I guess test things out and and sort of see which one works best for you and if you have like a bunch of units that you don't know what to do with then this chart can sort of help you um, sort of decide what and how to build certain characters. I didn't add any relic sets to any of these characters just because I feel like that'll make the video too long and kind of just want to like <laughs> just talk about it briefly. So if, if there's a certain character whose build you want to like see, then definitely leave a comment below. Or you can see a different video since I know there's a lot of other dislike content out there that showcases each individual unit. And I'm some of these un units I don't even have like for example, I don't have Ahmed or Nicole or Sally, so I can't even do some of these. Or Tricky either. I can't even do some of these um, unit reviews even if I wanted to. But um, yeah, just try to just, I guess, pick like five units you see on here and try to make a team around it. Um, I will say the rule of thumb is uh, obviously you want to have one of these three units in the dps category like the barton here is kind of troll but i have seen teams use barton in their point war showcase um but between renzi thor and, and hyde you you kind of want to have at least one of them on your team you kind of want to have one at least one of every category for the most part um tank is an exception you don't really need tricky you kind of just need um I guess like three supports and two DPS. That's what I've seen the most common team comps be. Uh, I guess you could show here, right? So this team, for example, has three DPS and two supports, which is also pretty common. This one is um, one DPS, one control, and three supports. This one is two DPS and three supports. So it's sort of like pretty self-explanatory. You kind of just want to have like a a mix between supports and DPS and if you have Tricky then you can toss him in there as well. He's really really good on tank teams and he's only gonna get better because he got buffed so now he can dispel well actually I think the buffs already out he can um he has a hundred percent chance to dispel buffs now which makes him completely broken he is so good at stripping immunities defense buffs all that shit so he's godlike and I guess I can sort of showcase uh me losing against a defense team just to see like just to show how strong these teams are like for example this one you can see here let me move this out of the way and hopefully this loads sometime soon uh did my game crash uh, ooh. oh okay there we go it's just like all right so i go first obviously because it's the defense team and i kind of just toss my attacks i'm trying to buff block the renty which i do which lets me kill it the next turn with my nausea uh my liling here because i don't have to worry about the standoff buff anymore and here you can kind of just see how strong like how, just truly how much dps you need to break down even just four units 
it's a 5v4, but I still lose this. Just because the units are so tanky and pretty much unkillable. So he does that. I freeze the Clara and I here I try to DPS the hide, which only does around half. And then he counterattacks me almost one shots my my Liling. And then I all with Poseidon does no damage because elemental disadvantage. Unfortunately. And then this is where Claire just starts healing, proccing counterattacks, healing the hide over and over and over again. So I stopped attacking the Clara because he kept healing. So I was like, you know what, I'll target Gabriel this time. And then buff up. And I try to desperately try to kill the hide. Um but he's just not dying. He gets healing. Even more healing. Goes back to half health. I didn't even break his passive yet, by the way. And he's already back at half health. And then here I'm just like, I need to control this Hera. She needs to die because she is healing Hyatt way too much. So I try to do that. Um, but it's looking more and more dire. As I'm just not doing enough damage at all. <clears throat> Procs another counterattack, which heals herself. Um... But yeah, heals again, hides back at full HP, <laughs> so both of my DPS units die, and here I'm just like, yep, it's over. So that's like an example of a really strong defensive team that you'll run across. It's it's super hard to break those teams down. Um, but that's why I have Biondina. Biondina is amazing at dealing with Red Seas and Doors since Biondina can one shot a unbuffed Thor with her S3, um, no matter what, pretty much. And then uh, for Ren C, she can proc buff blocker, as you saw, which pretty much disables his standoff when he gets 1 HP, and then he can just finish him off. Um, and then let me see if I have any matches where I fought against a different speed cleave team. I mean, cleave teams are pretty self explanatory. I could probably find one in my defense records too, if I really tried. Um, okay, I guess I have to look through here. Yeah, so this is like a cleave team. Um, let me see if I can find an actual better example of one. I guess that's also an example, okay. Okay, this will be the perfect example. So, as you can see, this person's gonna outspeed me because I lost. Um, and then he's pretty much just gonna one shot my entire team. So he uses Unas buff here, which leads into the TA, I'm assuming. Or, okay, Dahlia first. And then TA, yes. And then Zora with their ult. Oh my god, you see that damage? Holy crap. And then Wukong finishes it off. Yeah. So that's pretty much what a cleave team is, just outspeed and then AoE and one shot everything, pretty much. And then the last team, okay, so I'll show you the, the speed cleave, steep, oh my god I can't speak, the speed cleave list as well to show you how to build one of those. Though it's, this is mainly, unlike tank teams, this is more focused on, focused on relics rather than individual characters. So as you can see, there is a shit ton of characters you can use for this. Um, so obviously you want to have a TA lead or a Ollie lead, because that will give you the most speed. Long man if you have nothing else. And then you want to have... You definitely want to have um, at least two, like for the higher levels of point war, at least two of the three in the SS support tiers. So you want to have at least two of Dahlia, Unas, or Clara. Run two of those, and then you should be good. And the reason why you don't want to run only one is because um, only one is not fast enough for your DPS to get a turn in before the enemy team gets the turn in. So you saw the team I just lost to on defense. They had both Dahlia and Unas, so their Zora can actually move be before my, my controllers do. So um, that was the reason for that. So, pretty much how the team count you want for this is one between of Ali and TA, um, two between Unas, Dahlia, Clara, and then two DPS of pretty much anyone you really want here. Um, it depends really on your relics. Like, if your relics are bad and you don't have much speed, 
then you pretty much are forced to bring Biondina because you, you're pretty much forced to fight defensive teams in that, in that case since you don't have enough speed to contest with other speed cleave teams. So in that case, you'll bring Biondina. But then if you if you have like crazy speed relics like that other guy did, then you can bring stuff like Jiangman, who is insane in point war if you have extremely high speed. And then Zora as well. You just saw Zora does so much damage. Um, pretty much you're... You have like more freedom to run AoE if you have insane speed relics. So you can run like Jangman Mona, which I've seen a team of like that in point war, I think 15. Um, Jangman uses her ult and then Mona procs it all and then just absolutely <laughs> destroys the team. Or you can run like Jangman Zora, Zora Mona, Zora Chloe, Lin Xiao, pretty much anything that you want to really if you have. The correct speed relics so that's that's kind of like what i'm saying is like um for cleave teams it's more relic based and then tank teams are more like character based like you like the character choice matters a lot more in, in tank teams than speed cleave teams so that's why you see a lot more like variety on cleave teams and then finally the last uh team combo i want to show is the control team which is uh it's a lot more rare. You don't really see it often. Let me check if I actually have a a defensive record of me losing against the speed control team. I should have one. They pretty much all have tricky. Like, cause tricky is pretty much a requirement to run a team like that. Um, let's see here. Defensive team. Guess not. Uh oh. Okay. 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 We found one. We found one. Okay. Uh, let me see if there's a better one first, and then we can watch. Okay. This is here's another one. That's another one we can watch, it, or I guess don't have to watch, but it's an option. Here's another one. Okay. Wow. There's a lot. <laughs> Got it, got it. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch this one because this one has the um, the unit that I want to talk about, which is Pandora, which is the last unit here. So this is a speed control team. Let me close this out. Okay. And the purpose of this team is is pretty much you want to have like speed as well, hence speed control. But then the point is not to one shot, but it's to prevent them from moving. Um, as you can just see here. I, I don't get a single turn in, I guarantee it. Because they just keep tossing CCs. Okay, I get a counter attack. And if, I guess a few hits here and there, but for the most part, it's all just stuns. They don't do much damage, but then it's slowly whittling down my entire team. Slowly but surely. And the reason why this people run this team sometimes. Oh, I actually get a turn there. But the reason why people run this team instead of like I guess the other two more common teams which are like the cleave and then the tank teams is because this team is actually the easiest team to relic farm for and what I mean by that is uh, for tank teams you need a lot of defense attack uh, HP bonus right like especially if you have hide on your team you need an insane amount of stats for him you, need, you even need crit and stuff as well but then um, and then I guess for uh, cleave teams, you also need a lot of stats as well. You need like speed, obviously, for your support units. You need um, you need crit rate. You need crit damage, attack bonus, accuracy as well. But then um, for control teams like this, all you need is just two stats, which is speed and act, and that's pretty much all you need. Your damage doesn't really matter, your tankiness doesn't really matter, um, since they won't be getting a turn off anyways. So this it's actually pretty easy to build a team like this, um, which is why a lot of people run, run this sort of team. The only thing is just that um, you need, like, this is the hardest team to build in terms of character, like character selection, because there's really a very, very select few. Um, units you can you can pick for a team like this, which I'll show you just in a second. 
So this is like the complete opposite of tank teams. Or no, not, not tank teams, my bad. Opposite of cleave teams, where it's very, very character dependent and not so very relic dependent. So here, I'll show you again. So this is the cleave team. And then this is the control list that I'm talking about. As you can see, there's a lot less viable units here. Because um, you need a long man or TI speed lead for sure, 1000%. Um, Ollie doesn't work because Ollie doesn't actually have enough CC to really qualify being or taking a spot on that team. While Longman has her or has his um, full team wide stun or freeze, and then TA obviously has her uh, AP manipulation. And then as for the support units, <coughs> um, you can run Dahlia, you can run Asnath, or you can just run neither. Some people they don't even run um, a support unit at all, which Honestly, it's probably better, just because that way you can focus on landing more CC. But out of the sport cards I do seen people run, it's mainly just Asenath. Because Asenath, unlike Dahlia, Asenath can um, uh, give even more AP based on her Lotus Mark stacks. And she heals in case enemies do get a hit off. And also, you don't really need the attack and crit rate buff on a speed control team. Um, just because you won't be doing that much damage anyways while Astonaut's kit is more revolved around keeping like it's more I guess it fits better on a team comp like this so that's that for support and then obviously Clara is like a last ditch option if you don't if you don't really have anything else um, but if you do have Astonaut then definitely definitely think about using her and then here I want to talk about the control units now I'm going to say this now I think Loki or Tricky Tricky is pretty much a requirement for a uh, CC team just because he can dispel and he can um, extend debuffs by by an extra turn which is just insanely OP for point war especially the fact that he can dispel buffs now at 100% proc rate instead of 75 previously um, so I think Tricky is pretty much a, like a requirement so if you have Tricky Definitely think about running control teams um, if you have other units like this. Like Sienna is really good for this as well. Uh, Apollo is apt, or Lucius is just absolutely crazy for this, especially if you run him with um, Tyranny of Zeus. Like Zeus, Tyranny of Zeus, Ap uh, Lucius with Tricky is like seriously the most toxic, like <laughs> most bullshit team comp you can ever face it's so so strong like you just never get a turn off and then since they both have dispels in case like tricky or or lucas miss, misses one of their dispels and you have the other one to pretty much um almost guarantee getting the debuff off that you want so the most team uh common team i've seen for control teams um i'll actually like point it out here so it's ts speed lead obviously so that's one unit um tricky obviously you need tricky as well so that's two and then sienna this third unit and then lucas the fourth unit and then actually it's pandora as the fifth unit that's the most common speed control team i've seen um and how it works is that uh ta goes first and then ap ma manipulates the team so the rest of your team also goes first. So TA goes first, and then either Lucas or... or I guess it's pretty much Lucas. Lucas goes next, and then what he does is... Um, he dispels any immunities that are on the field. And he also stuns if you have Tyranny of Zeus set, which you should. Um, you don't. I guess Windwalker is okay too, but I think Zeus set is better. Specifically for this team. So you can use your S3, and you can AP down units even more. As well as... Um, stun them if you get lucky and then sienna goes next after that which gives you another chance to stun and also reduces their ap down to zero which is just <laughs> like at that point they don't get a turn in for like two turns almost so you have two chances to stun with lucas and uh sienna and then if you do manage to stun um then you have loki who goes next and Lo uh, uh tricky what he does is that he extends that stun that Lucas and Sienna does on the enemy. So let's say they're stunned for one turn. He can extend that to two turns as well as 
dispel any other buff that Lucas already hadn't dispelled at that point already. So if they have like a Gabrielle, for example, with immunity, and Lucas didn't uh, strip that buff away, then Tricky has another chance of stripping it away himself. So let's say everything goes perfectly, and uh, Tricky and like Lucas and Sienna manage to stun the entire team with their with their stun combos, and then Tricky manages to extend everyone's debuffs to two turns on stun. So now everyone is stunned for two turns, and then Pandora goes next. With her ult, what, what she does is that she casts a two-turn debuff, so which means it procs after two turns, which does damage after two turns and then stuns again. But then guess what? They're, um, guess who's currently stunned for two turns? The enemy team, right? Because of Tricky. So after those two turns are stunned, then Pandora's debuff will take will proc, and they're gonna get stunned again, and then they're going to take a shit ton of damage. And what that means is that um, they're stunned for three turns essentially. And you know whose cooldown is three turns? Is Lucas's S3. <laughs> so after three turns, you can use Lucas S3 again, which procs another stun. And then you can use Lucas, or not Lucas, um, Loki's S3, which should come up since it's like a four turn cooldown, I think, or something like that. And he should be able to cycle enough turns. And he can also stun on his S1 because of Tyranny of Zeus. Um, just stuns everywhere on this team. And then you also have Sienna's like, AP push mechanic on his S1 to help units get their turns faster. You have AP absorption with Lucas. Um, and that's not even counting TA's already like insane speed buff skill and her S3. It's just so much, so much control. And it's honestly like, I'm surprised not like, not more people are using this team because it's super super good like it's just as good as the speed cleave teams and the tank teams as well like you definitely can beat um, tank teams with with um, control and you can definitely beat speed cleave teams with control as well like these three teams they can all beat each other it's just dependent on on how good your relics are and how good like your characters are built and I guess some counter matchups so yeah i hope i helped you guys make or like understand a little bit more about about how to build good team comps and i wish you the best for your point war grinding if you have any questions just leave a comment and i'll answer it so yeah i think that's it um i'll probably upload another video soon depending on like if i have content if i have ideas for content but just let me know and yeah, thanks for watching, see ya.